How's it going, boys? So today we are playing the Copy Army. Oh yes, it is a pretty fun deck. It's a Dawn of Hope copy uh, token deck. It has a lot of ways to buff things, and well, it's pretty versatile, honestly. So we have four Dawn of Hopes, four Revitalize, four Explore, two Guys Blessings, four Anointed Presences, four Exelon's Bindings, three Settle Dine Wreckages, three Rat of Gods, three Guitars Crusades, four Mirari's Wake, two Immortal Suns. Uh, two, uh, two Emerial Skull, uh, two Ondu Inversion, and 24 lands to be specific, including four Fable Passages. So yeah, it is a token deck, and it is a mighty powerful token deck, because obviously Mirari Wake extremely good with Dawn of Hope, because extra value. Suddenly, instead of one token, you can create two tokens, and... With, uh, where is it, Anointed Presence, that just doubles up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then, well, we have the Crusade, which gives even more scaling power to the already scaling, but previously completely static tokens, which is a very fine thing indeed. So yeah, it is an interesting deck, it's a fun deck, and it's a powerful deck. 3.9 average mana, not a big deal honestly. We, again, we have the setup, we have a little bit of ramp, and we have, well, kind of the drop over. So technically, not getting 4 lands on turn 4 with all of these cards could be considered a minor inconvenience, luck, unluckiness. So yeah. So, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. And boys, have I mentioned that the subscribe button is free, so you should probably do that. Okay, so we have Fable Passages, Planes. Essentially, here it is. Four lands, as, as foretold. Is it? Yes, it is. Nice. Okay, enemy Kun is saying hello. Oh, white deck, disgusting. Cat's not on purple, bam. Okay, so the plan is simple. We do stuff. Yeah, that's a very simple plan, but usually it doesn't exactly take a lot more. Okay, did not see Birth of Melitus coming in here, but hey, I, I guess it's happening. Well, whatever. Ooh, Immortal Sun, you know what? That is not exactly bad. That is, a, a, that is actually extremely good, boy. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna drop the Anointed Presence on 4 to be MANA EFFICIENT? Or are we gonna try and drop it to explore because that would be better for Mirari's Wake, aka a little bit better, boys. Hello, there. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Gonna go for the explore. Nothing bad can happen. ka -ching. Okay, the setup is pretty much done, by the way. Gonna get an extra green land, by the way. The only option, honestly, there. And then we're gonna get white. You always want to prioritize the white lands as much as humanly possible. And let's just revitalize, because why not at this point, right? Okay, so. Extremely simple, currently. Got the Crusade, got the Way, got the Immortal Sun, got the Anointed Presence. Thank God we're not against Negro deck, otherwise we would have already been dead 50 times over. What a time to be alive. Also, suddenly, black. Okay. Ah, huh, he looked at it. I don't like it when people look funny at my things. Okay, well, I can tell you one good thing. This is not exactly useful anymore, so don't exactly care too much. Anointed presence. Well, let it be anointed as much as it wants. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so, boys. Currently, this match has been perfect. The only thing that can ruin us is a Cleansing Nova. And honestly, it doesn't look like the guy has it. It's rare to see a Crocs in a deck with a Cleansing Nova, let's be real. And it's kind of rare to see Cleansing Nova at all nowadays. So there you have it. Oof. A bit annoying, not gonna lie, but hey, honestly doesn't exactly do a lot. Okay, oh boys. Yep. Ah, that that that's 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 what you call a wrap. Okay, gonna get this. No need for the anointed presence just yet. Again, we have the Tatar's Crusade or whatever. So technically, everything is fine. Uh, can't get an extra token if I say use the man up. So why even bother, right? Anyhow, anywho. 
Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit awkward for enemy Kun because... <gasps> no? Oh, you absolutely dirty little boy, you Tefati avatar. How dare you? How absolutely... Well, it doesn't really matter because we just created four tokens and... Well, because of the setup, this is already 22 damage. Oh, actually, it's even more. Jesus Christ. And he gets rid of the Anointed Presence. Well, not Anointed Presence, but Dawn of Hope. But it's fine, because Immortal Sun, Sun Chan is gonna not draw us another one? Game? Hello? Hello? Game. That was not in the script. Where's, where, 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 where's my Dawn of Hope for free? Game, please. Let's be reasonable. Village rights with the birth of Melotus. Okay, seems reasonable-ish. Okay, whatever. Bill Immortal Sunkun, I do believe in you. Oh, no! Actually, well, he did prevent lethal by doing that, so technically all power to you. But good luck. I'm most likely gonna Ixalan's binding that sooner or later also, so yeah, we, we have options. Okay, suddenly, tokens. Angel tokens. That's also a thing we actually do, if you have not noticed. So, there it is. Uh, that's a pretty, well, ugly creature feature. But yeah, that's 40 damage on board with flying. And it's disgusting. Never should have used this card. Not gonna lie, boys. Extinction. <gasps> that does not kill enchantments. Okay, good. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's technically useful. Okay, game, please. Enough with the lands. I get it. I have them in my deck. We could... Ca should have not dropped Mirari's Vig, by the way. You know, that's what a reasonable person would do. Not drop the Mirari's Vig, because that just seems like bad karma right there in a nutshell. Uh, but yeah, also, why would you pay life? You don't look like a deck that's gonna pull out all the big guns. So, what die in hell, enemy con? Well, whatever. Again, it's only a matter of time until we draw what we want to draw. Because currently, there's a good chance we get what we want. Because we have eight. Yep, there, there, there. She blew it. Yeah, and that's gonna be all she wrote, pretty much. Yeah, good luck with that, enemy con. Could have bended your crocs and just made it a little bit worse, but hey, I'm a reasonable fellow. Maybe. Not really. Okay, whatever. Onward we go. Oh god. Okay, okay. We're gonna be disgusting. Wait, did it not magically use that? Oh, because it. Okay, it's. No, wait. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, so, yeah. Good luck with that, enemy Kun. I don't think a cro- Okay, he's actually trying to deal with it. That's a bit insane. Oh, what a mad lad. He's actually trying to deal with it. Good game? Nah, boy. Let, let, let me just, you know, fle flex a little bit more. Because this, this is not our final form, boys. This is 100% not our final- what are the chances that he legitimately, for some reason, could have a settled Dyn wreckage in the deck? What are the chances? I will honestly assume not high, but hey. No one says good game anymore. Everyone, Everyone's selfish, so yeah. Anyway, that's a bunch of damage, as you can see. Not sure what the Crocs is gonna achieve, but hey, well, it did damage. Technically, it heals me more. Okay, village rights. A little bit of that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Okay, now I feel safer. Okay, birth of Melitus. If he has settled on the wreckage, this has been the most... Okay, no, no longer is that a possibility, uh, but hey... Okay, now you can't even cast it no matter what you do, so, uh, okay, enemy cut. Okay, you did it! Well, whatever. And here is the Dawn of Hope anyway. Okay, let's see how much damage we can actually deal here. It's gonna be a lot. That much I can... Well, I'm pretty certain it's a lot. 
Uh, yep, that's that, that. That's definitely a decent number. Anytime the overkill is more than two, you know you did a good job. So yeah, that's essentially the deck as a whole. We got a lot lucky, honestly, but again, magic is not the best at mixing the decks. You, you, you we did not see half of our deck. Like, one half was at the first half, and the second half was on the second half. Not exactly impressive impressive in that sense, but yeah. If we were against an aggro deck, we lose that 100%. Because this was the perfect setup pretty much against a non-aggro deck. With no counter spells and stuff. So yeah, technically, we got a lot lucky there. But it's a part of the game. Oh, look at that! That's that that's great shuffling. That's that's great RNG. Okay, oh speak of the devil. Now suddenly we have to deal with Ugh. Yeah. Well, not gonna cast the ugly angels. Could have played Fable Passage, but again, we kinda wanna get uh, four mana. That's when the fun starts and five mana the legitimate part starts. Okay, this is not theoretically as bad. Not great, not gonna lie. Definitely not great. Wait, what? Am I... No, it's not Sparky. This is one of the worst flying creatures in the game, by the way. J just, just an FYI, you know? J just, just a small FYI. Okay, yeah. By the way, I always use these low two cost cards to find more uh more mana because you know if we if if we had four mana obviously wait but since we have three mana no guarantee that we're getting the fourth mana yeah i'm just gonna actually do do it like this i always pretty much do it like this and for everyone who's like typing why not pop the fable because i want extra chances to get lands obviously okay well now that's actually bad and uh well it's it's a very low chance that that happens but yeah this is the only this is the only situation not popping that land was actually bad and it happened well obviously also three excellent bindings are happening but this guy already has five lands how is he doing this Great! Look at that! AoE removal! Exactly what I wanted. Gonna get rid of that. I feel the Ixalan's bindings are gonna be a lot cooler. Okay, game. Very nice. Very nice. You know, you're you're doing stuff. It's cool. It's cool. It's whatever. Can I get a fourth lane now? Okay, seemingly not. Uh, amazing. How am I, Wait, how am I... Oh, two extra cards... I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, an Ixalan's Binding has to go. No, wait, what? Oh, that's this new update. Now that you... If you have... You need to press the accept. For some reason, it allows you to select two cards. I don't know why. I don't know how. Whatever, right? But yeah. Currently, he has more than two times the lands I have. Oh, great. Are we gonna finally find the land? Wow! Someone's probably gonna say that this game, that this match was based on skill. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. The first one is, was a free win. This is a free loss. It happens. Okay, so onward we kind of go when Wizard stops being an indie development company that needs, I don't know, half an hour to process what happens after you finish the game. But it's fine, technically. By the way. Yesterday, as much as I understand, everything was absolutely on fire because of the update. Cards were bugged, people couldn't play the game, the updater, yet again, was completely on rocket fuel fire. Good times. But again, don't blame Wizards, they're just an indie development company. They don't have the money to do to hire anything better than a intern with zero experience it's part of the course okay you see this is a lot better to explore the dawn of hopes in Nixlon's binding how can you say no to that well easy he's gonna be a red deck and Nixlon's binding is not gonna do anything that's how you say no but all in all considering everything 
Yeah, this looks like a good start, right? 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 Okay. Anointed presence. And that's... Ah, that's white. For a moment, I thought it's a black land. I don't see this plains a lot. It's good looking, don't get me wrong. But honestly, in the game, because of the black here, it looks like a black land to me. Not an actual white land. So, there you have it. My expert analysis on is this plane garbage. Okay. Is he, if he's gonna drop a third land, I'm gonna scream. Oh! And yes, we do not use Castle Ardenvale in this deck. Even though theoretically it's Waifu Heaven if we do it. But we haven't. Not sure if that speaks volumes of me as a person. Or whatever. But yeah. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna do... Eh. Well, okay, let's not be greedy. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's one of the... Wait a minute. Okay, this is actually fine. He's not exactly achieving anything a lot here, so we should be good. It depends on his drop now, because this is gonna be the make or break. If I pay mana there and play Dawn of... Yeah, that's... 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 Yeah, that, that's definitely a binding if I have ever seen one. We're gonna be too low on HP if we don't do it. Admittedly, we could play Mirari's Wake, and then it's a little bit better because it uh, buys us time. Four, six, seven, five left. There's nothing he can play that kill kills us, so this is gonna be greedy, -gree, but we're definitely gonna do it, boys. Because we're obviously greedy. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so now he has... Oof. Yeah, that's where the problems start. Something about us not dying suddenly is a serious consider- Yeah, hello there! What's your name? What's your size? What's your number? Oh, boys. Shouldn't have probably not done that, honestly, but it's fine. It's definitely what you call fine. Okay, we can do this now also. He's going to probably think, I'm not just not going to attack with the creature features that have legs, not wings. And then I'm going to be like, no. No. Unless, obviously, he plays a... Cl no one plays Cleansing Nova. I am way too spooked about the concept of Cleansing Nova exists, honestly. That is just a fact at this point. Okay, so here's the play. He attacks with... Ev wait, what are you actually... Dude! That does not exactly work out. You did 4 damage, but you see, now the problem occurs that I can just summon these things. Yeah, and, like now I can even... Well, actually I'm gonna attack first. But yeah, now I can just pretend I didn't have Settle Dying Wreckage because of that. You should have at least attacked with the Angel of uh, uh, Vitality, you know? Would honestly make a shit ton of sense, not gonna lie. Okay, at least it's a land. Okay, another Settle Dying Wreckage, it's fine. Bam, boys. Okay, everything's dead. Admittedly, that's a little bit of a, a well, problem. It deals damage. But, technically, who cares? Not gonna pay the life. Yeah, we can still cast Settle Dine Wreckage, and if he doesn't buff them, I can just create Dawn of Hope tokens, which means I'm losing 1 HP per turn, which is not even a problem. You know? Not exactly rocket science, but it's pretty complicated, and I'm a f physical engineer. You know? Yoga expert. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna probably eat that one. But whatever. Okay, so now we just create tokens. Essentially, again, we just did not lose life. That's how that ended. Okay. Considering we have this, it's free real estate. Guy is blessing to bless us all. Get that bad boy back in. 
Okay, not exactly what I wanted in life, but hey, it's definitely something. Oh my god, look at that. Decline, because that is definitely what you would call enough. And slowly but certainly, it looks like we're winning, boys. Oh yes, it definitely looks like that. Gonna even keep four mana open just in case he wipes this. Again, don't see a reality where he does wipe it, but yeah. Uh, decline and decline. Now he's probably gonna be fearful of settled down wreckage again. I don't know, that's just life. That's just the life of an Angram avatar. It's not exactly pleasant, but hey, no one forced you. Oof, look at that bad boy. Wow. Much scary. Okay. Heliod's punishment. Very impressive. Also, here's the tricky part. Yeah, whatever, but... I'm gonna summon these things, and I'm gonna block with literally all of them. So... Yeah. Good luck. I gained way more life than you made me lose. And she's dead, by the way. Ah, uh, the things people never consider. It's like... I, I honestly have the feeling it's like some people... It's, it's the first time for some people even seeing what Dawn of Hope does. They, they have absolutely no clue it can be used on the attack. It just seems like it. Anyway, that's a little bit annoying, not gonna lie. But hey, this is a good ch opportunity for us to ac acquire what we actually got it. Okay, that's gonna be enough, you know. If if one Mirari's big did not send the message, then I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty certain two are gonna send the message pretty soon. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, can I do anything against that? At the beginning of your end step, if you have... Dude! No, wait. What? I don't lose? At the beginning of your end step, if you have at least 15 life more than the start... I'm sorry, did he not have 15 life more than the start? We start with 20 HP, or am I insane? Anyway, uh, that's extremely dangerous. <laughs> so, bye. <laughs> oh, here's the BM good game, boys. And finally, a green land. Yeah, I know some of you are probably not exactly happy about that one, good game. Yeah, indeed. Oh boy. That's, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty rough. I actually, I, I think he thought he wins. I also thought he wins. I, I don't, under, I don't exactly understand the premises here. How the fuck does he not win? You know? Also, where are my Qatar bullshit thingies? Okay, very good. Again, v v wait. Next? It's next. Oh, it's a phase or something. Again, not a magic expert. I just play this game and don't exactly care too much. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, looks good. What can I say? But seriously, should I not have lost the, the game? Each player angel attacks this turn. Oh, this turn. Yeah, suddenly it makes sense. I'm an idiot. Not exactly newsworthy, by the way, but hey, it's it, it, it's something. I like how this guy is, by the way, trying to win. Still. And I'm just here slowly but certainly uh, searching for my Tatar thingy. So, well, Crusade thingy. Uh, so I can just absolutely demolish his little boy pussy. You know? The, everyone has goals, right? Not saying that's exactly my goal, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty... I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward, not the waifu. You absolute animal. Who hurt you? Well, whatever. Dude, are you seriously gonna sack the waifu when you have the possibility of sacking other things? Dude! Dude! 
Spirit Waifu. Waifu semi uh, semi waifu. Dude. It wasn't exactly a hard choice. But you made the wrong one. Congratulations. Okay, I'm assuming that the Tars is okay. Well, we're gonna go big boys. That's 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 a certain okay, Wrath of God, very cool. Okay, whatever, very cool. Oh, also notice we still have not got well got the immortal sun finally. Okay. Dude, seriously. Can I get the stuff? Fifteen cards. 20% chance to draw whatever. And I'm discarding at random at this- Oh, right. Dude, this is so annoying. Okay, so. Three. There's goddamn three of them inside there. No. No! Okay, uh... Plan B, I guess. Watch this. No! You absolute animal! Oh, that could have gone a way, 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 way better. But it didn't, sadly. Well, now. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Well, onward we go, I guess. Damn, that 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 win was not worth it. Just 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 flat out not worth it. Close, but not worth it. Well, whatever. That's that's how the shuffler works or doesn't work. It's fine. Wizards will probably never fix it or make it worse. I'm kind of leaning on the make worse part. They're kind of good at that one. Okay, two lands, whatever with it. Yes, we're keeping this. 100%. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that you keep every immortal sun hand in existence. And yeah, boys. We're back to historic. And immortal sun is gonna be in every deck. You, you should probably start to deal with it. Okay, do we go first? No, I don't like the back he has chosen. It's very cuckoldy. And the Gideon avatar also, obviously, kind of gives it away a lot. And his name is Roberto, so, you know, not, not exactly scoring Big Chief. You're actually scoring pretty low on the Am I Not a Cuck score, Chief. Damn it. Also, what the hell? You started with this? Wait, is it already turn two? Seriously, it was already turn two? I didn't even notice. Well, whatever, we have settled Dine Wreckage, so he can be an aggro deck all he wants, every day he wants, or whatever. We're getting to Immortal Sun, and we're probably gonna bind some bad boys on the way. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely a binder. Should probably make an Ixalan Ashiog deck. Oh, yes. Okay, so it all hinges on the fact, do we achieve the greatness of the fourth land? That's a good question, though. But yeah, you're not too convinced in playing white aggro for some reason, huh? Because Bonner's Enclave would never be used by someone who is a uh, true and blue aggro. Oof. Well, that does make the Ajani's Pride 40 stronger, so technically he, he, he did good. Okay, let's see. Okay. This is getting slowly bad. Okay, that's fucking horrible! Game! Please! Are you gonna give me one win and then just lay and screw me into fatality? Dude, don't give him chubbums! Don't give him a second of pride, mate! Oh, lord. Okay, at least that happened. Wow! Do we do the nice? <laughs> okay, he's thinking. 
I, I think, maybe, hard to tell, it's Negro deck play. <gasps> A pigeon! Press the resolve button really fast. Ah, oh, that! Press the resolve button really fast. Ah, oh, boys, classic Settledine Wreckage plays. Classic Settledine Wreckage plays. Okay, whatever, boys, no one cares. Dude, dude, no, don't buff the pigeon. Okay, attack with everything. Be the man. Oh, shit, you actually did it. Okay, that gives me, honestly, at least... But a singular turn or whatever. Time to actually get something of value. Okay, so currently the best draw would be... A land followed into a Vrat spell. Keep in mind we have six Vrat spells in the deck. We have used Wanos. That's Japanese for one. Okay. Currently, the game is doing things like I want it to do. Uh, is this too greedy? I honestly think it's too greedy, but we have to go for it. We have to go for it! Chebums is not gonna kill himself, boys. Which is, you know, questionably possible. But, this angel wife who is definitely not gonna kill itself. And this... A solid 7.1 out of 10. Is also not gonna kill itself. What the fuck? Are you insane? Why? You already ruined your white aggro deck with a shadow fucking spear. Now you're just adding insult to injury for- No! No! no. It's fine. It's- it's fine. I think, maybe, not really, who knows. We can't exactly do a lot here, by the way. So, we can set Ixalons, but we can pretend that we're gonna settle Dine Wreckage again. That's something we can technically do. Okay. So, this is the plan, boys. Get a land drop. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Okay, so, this is how we do it. Get rid of this. And now we... If he attacks with everything, can we actually survive? Not really. If we block out now... We have to bet it. We have to 100% bet it on the fact that he does not attack with everything because... Man titties. It's possible. It's possible he only attacks with one angel. He is considering the Dawn of Hope. Rob Roberto may be a cuck, but he definitely takes at least five seconds more on average to think about consequences than me. Because I am sure as hell bad at consequences. Anyway. I take it back, Roberto's a complete dipshit. <laughs> Dude! Why? Oh my god, yeah! That's insane! Roberto, please! How did you fucking think that will. Amazing! Abs no, don't buff Chubbums if you buff Chubbums, they have me. Okay, okay, this is fine. Attack. Attack with the singular angel. Wait, what? You're just gonna... Okay. That's cool. Uh, pay. Yeah, definitely. Okay, here we have it, boys. The solution. It's called... Stuff. <laughs> Enemy could... All you needed to do, technically, to win, was use this Light of Hope on a target worth more than goddamn zero. That was literally all you needed to do. Now, I'm not exactly sure how the hell did you not manage to do it, but good luck winning with two cards when I have Immortal Sun and Ixalons binding up, up in here. Yeah, and that's not exactly threatening or anything at all. Honestly, pretty cute at this point. So, good luck. 
Oh god. The, the classic aggro play of miss failings. It, it's it's just wonderful. It, it is it is a feeling what like no other boys. When an aggro deck player just does the most abundantly stupid thing possible. It, it's just lovely. That's all I can say. It is just absolutely lovely. Anyway, I'm gonna create one because reasons. Bam! Could actually technically pay- well, create two. Whatever, it's the same deal. You know it is. Okay. Yeah, that's not impressive. I, I, I think he knows that it's over. I think Roberto definitely understands that he should switch to avatar and name and deck and pretty much everything. Okay, well, time to gain some value could value. Yeah, boys. I don't think he's happy about this. I am, though. I am extremely positive about what's happening. Good times. Good times. But what do you exactly want from the uh, Dawn of Hope? Dawn of Hope is such a card. Uh, previously, I don't know how long this was ago, uh, but we essentially just made a Dawn of Hope deck, which was literally only white, and that thing wrecked things. It was pretty good. It was a lot good. Oh no, a Gideon! Wowie, woo, wow, wow. That's insane. Nothing would save you at this point. Even like, I don't know, five stackable uh, Heliodes would not probably do anything. It's just the way it is. <clears throat> and please attack. You probably don't exactly know what Dawn of Hope does anyway, so yeah. Wait. No, attack. You, you, you no longer can uh, use the Gideon plus one. You need to declare it before an attack. Okay. Boys, this is absolutely great. For me, not for him. For him, this is terrible. Probably worst day of his life. Which just makes it the better. Yeah, you, you can't... Oh, you're gonna skip the attack phase because of that? Dude. Dude. Really now. Really now. You're gonna skip the... Dude. Okay, let's demonstrate what we can actually achieve here, boys. Oh... What a deck, boys. What a play. Ah, it always warms my heart to pretend that I have settled on wreckage. Do you know, the BM nice play, you know, whatever. It's actually super good to do when you have things like revitalize in the deck. I feel that that is definitely something extremely overlooked in this game. What happens, uh, what happens when you're playing against control white deck? Who has, you know, that stuff? Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna probably be... Well, uh, yeah, essentially. Pretty sure that's GG right there. Extremely sure, honestly. I'm not no mathematician, but again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna kind of go my, uh, my way because of this. Unless... He's hiding a fourth land somewhere, and that is settled on wreckage that he has in his hand. But that's not probably happening. Extremely low possibilities, even for an indie development game. Okay, that's amazing. God, I hate you, Sol Varden, so much. Well, actually, I kind of love you, Sol Varden, because of two reasons. But yeah, good enough. Definitely good enough. Okay. So. We're doing this. Okay, continue, please. Go on, go on! Okay, yeah, that, 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 that should be all she wrote. Okay, 96 damage. Good times. We can now actually also diligate one to kill Gideon, because, well, reasons. And a Gideon, Gideon avatar having Gideon in his deck? Dude, re really? I would just switch my avatar because I put a Gideon in my deck if I used the Gideon avatar. Oh boy. Anyway, he's dead. 
Oh, he had 51 HP? Wait, why did he have 51 HP? I was pretty sure he has less. Ah, well, that could have been a miscalculation. But honestly, look at this, no one cares. Okay, boys. So that's pretty much literally all she wrote. So yeah. When Dandy Development Company gives us the chance. Okay, it g gave us a chance. Good, 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 good. So, this is the copy army deck. As you can see, it's pretty good. Time to time. So yeah, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out the everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.